Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week, a five minute practice routine? Really, just five minutes? Well, yes, if you're practicing the right things, obviously it's gonna be better to practice for longer than five minutes, but I've combined a few essentials that I consider to be essentials to help you increase your guitar skills and help you improve with just five minutes a day. In fact, I would recommend doing five minutes a day for 10 days. Just try it for 10 days. Let me know how you get on and I guarantee you, you will find some results, some improvement. Now, regardless if you're a beginner or you're an intermediate player, you can use this task and play the more simple version if you're a beginner or the more complicated version if you're more advanced. So there will be something for everyone in this lesson. And even at the end, I'll play along nice and slowly and you can play along with me every day for 10 days. Let's do it together. Okay, let's get in to the first minute. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is an A minor descending pattern. It's just on one string and is not just a boring old scale, check it out. Sounds complicated, sounds cool. It really isn't complicated and it really is very cool. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you, everybody should be able to do in some form or another. And that's just a basic major scale. Doesn't matter where you start on the neck, I'm starting at the fifth fret. And it's just a major scale and it's that single position and you can move it around the fretboard. Now the amount of people I've shown this and they're like at first, yeah, that's super easy. But actually when they start playing, they're like, oh, I can't really do that as well as I should be able to do it. Now that's just in the open position and then you can move it up the fretboard. Now we're not gonna play with a metronome or anything like that, but what I want you to concentrate on is finger positioning and picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you find that a bit complicated, then just do the first half of the octave. Then shift. Now if you're more advanced, come up to the next level, the next fret rather, or two frets up. And come back down. And then go two frets up. Two frets up. It's not as easy as it looks. And especially when you wanna keep the correct picking, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So on to minute number three. You should be nice and warm after that. So here we have something that's gonna test the brain as well as your chord knowledge. So I've covered this in other lessons, but I've put a twist on it, so check it out. You might not know all the chords, so this is a really cool way to get to know them. Then when you go off and you're learning songs that you wanna really learn, you're already gonna have the skills to be able to play those songs, okay? So all we're gonna do is run through every major chord. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Pretty simple, right? If there's a chord in there that you're not so good at, and I can imagine for a few of you, it might be that B, because it's a bar chord, okay? Just skip it out, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you can go through them as quick as you like. However, once you've gotten through that, what I'd like to do is then look at the minors. So A minor, B minor, C minor, D minor, E minor, F minor. So if that's still a bit easy for you, what about the sevens? Now the sevens are actually pretty easy as well. So A7, B7, C7, D7, E7, F7, G7. Just one bar chord in there. 
if you still want to take it to the next level, A major seven, let's do the major sevens. A major seven, B major seven, C major seven, I have to think about that one. <laughs> D major seven, E major seven, F major seven, G major seven. Okay, and finally, obviously, the minor sevens. So A minor seven, B minor seven, C minor seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F minor seven, G minor seven. Pretty straightforward. So you could put that together no matter what your level, if your level's just beginner, just do the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you're more advanced, then go through the minors, the minor seven, the major seven, you might catch yourself out. So into the fourth minute now. So we're squeezing a lot of stuff in here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a major chord, we're just gonna take something easy like D. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice a finger picking routine. Now, I'm a bit of a weirdo. I hold my guitar pick sometimes when I'm finger picking. And this is just a really basic, finger picking style and it's just root I'm playing D so root is the fourth then one three two first string third string second string root one three two root one three two so the trick here is to move it but what I find my beginners do they do this they stop move stop move you don't want to stop this picking hand at all. Or you can do something more interesting. Now obviously you could do that with any other chord as well. Let's try C, so you could just do C. And what I've done now, I've moved the strings over. So I've gone five, two, four, three. Same principle applies, try and keep this hand going. So if you're not into finger picking, you could actually just do it with the guitar pick. And so on. So the final minute, we're gonna have a quick look at a strumming pattern. Really basic, one and two and three and four and, but, we're gonna put a twist on it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now you can hear me as well, I'm putting an accent on the one. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Or you can just concentrate on putting the accent on the three. Incorporate it into some chords. So there you have a five minute routine. You can play along with me and I'll do the five minute countdown for beginners. So I've got my timer ready. You don't have to do the same, but I'm just gonna break it down into one minute segments. Obviously, you can stay on one section longer if you wanted, but remember, this is just supposed to be a five minute workout. Don't worry if you can't keep up. Five, eight, seven, five. Three, seven, five, three. One, five, three, one, oh. The next section, or you could just repeat that, 10, 13, 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 7, 5. Okay, so there's still about 20 seconds left. You 
You can put some speed behind it. Here we go, our next minute, all the dots. Let's do the whole, let's do the two octaves now. Go up two frets. Go up two frets. Up two frets. Here we go with our chords. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The minors. The sevens. A major seven. So if you like the free tabs for this lesson, hit me up over on my website, leejohnblackmore.com. I've also got some merchandise for sale over there. I'm gonna have some new t-shirts very soon, so check that out. Over on Spotify, follow me over there. I've got some brand new music. If you've got your own music, share it with me. I'd love to hear from you. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.